Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you a thrift flip. I will do a makeover of a cute decor rocking chair, about that big. I traded it with my brother-in-law and I just fell in love with it and knew I could do something beautiful with it. So I will do this makeover of this rocking chair and some DIYs to go along with it. So stay tuned for this. This is what the rocking chair looks like. Isn't it beautiful? I so love it. I love it as is as well, but I will shush it up a bit. If you are curious, I traded it for a ceramic piece that I made. So the first thing I do is to paint it in a white matte paint. I had to apply three coats to get the coverage that I wanted. It took me a while to paint this chair. Three coats, as I said, a small paintbrush and lots of nooks and crannies. I watched some YouTube videos while painting, so I didn't mind. What do you do when you craft? Let me know in the comments. This video is part of the third Thursday Thrift Flips and it is hosted by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern Gmo Gals. If you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels just yet, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links down in my description to their channels as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of thrift flip ideas. While the chair is drying in between coats I will use this sweater and make a tiny throw blanket. So I just cut a square or a rectangle as you see me do here and then I go in and do the fringes just cutting very tiny narrow slits all the way across the short ends of this throw blanket. And I do the same on the other side. And that's it really for this throw blanket. And then I decided to weave a bit, so I took this old uh, piece of wood, scrap piece, and I put in plenty of small nails on each side. And I take this thin yarn and I will put it across the nails on this piece of wood to create a base to weave on. I didn't have very much yarn at home that I wanted to use so I decided to go for a white thick one and a green thick piece of yarn. So what I do, I use my crochet needle and I just put it through every other like you see me do here and then take the needle and pull the yarn through. A bit time consuming but I had the time so I didn't mind. It became a bit meditative after a while. At first I wanted to do like the old vintage carpets that you can see on old chairs just hanging over the backrest but it turned out this was a bit too narrow for that. The chair was a little bigger than I thought it was. The pattern I was going for is inspired by the vintage grain sacks.
If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. I wanted my weaved piece to be a little wider so I decided to take the crochet needle and the green yarn and just work my way around to create a nice border. Since I couldn't use it as that vintage carpet hanging on the backrest of the chair, I decided to make a pillow out of it. So I just folded my piece and put in a bit of pillow stuffing like you see I've done here and just glue it together. We're using some hot glue. And then it's ready for my rocking chair. However, a rocking chair is not complete without a cat. So I'm taking this yellow sponge and I'm going to turn it into a cat, a sleeping cat. On it I'm drawing a head and a body and the tail just beside the body, like so. Now I'm taking my scissors and cutting out my cat. I needed my foam piece to be a lot thinner. So that's the first thing I do. Just cut it almost in half, save a little bit more than half. And then I'm cutting it out, the shape, and then I bevel the edges to get a rounded shape. I don't want the square cat. Now I'm taking my glue gun and a thin piece of white fabric. I'm going to have a white cut and start off by putting the fabric into the grooves around the neck and around the tail. And then I'm folding the fabric on the other side like you see me do here. And I'm cutting off excess fabric as I go and just make it as neat as possible on the bottom there it doesn't need to be perfect at all i will cover it up later on and even if i wouldn't cover it up it wouldn't show This white fabric that I'm working on at the moment, it's just a base. It will not be the final product, if you will. I'm going to cover my cut in this faux fur, this white faux fur, but I need it a lot shorter, so I am trimming off the fur on the body a little bit shorter and even shorter on the tail and on the head. It's 
time to put everything in place. I'm starting with the head. And just hot gluing it into place, folding it on the bottom like that. Cutting off pieces that I don't need when I'm folding it. And then to the tail, just fitting the piece, starting with the groove there and working my way to the bottom of my cat. One thing I keep in mind here is to put the fur piece on so that the fur is in the right direction. And then the body. You can almost see that it's a cat now, can't you? Or some kind of animal, anyways. Now on to the ears. Tiny triangular pieces that I cut out of the fur. And I'm just taking them, put on a little bit of hot glue and place them on the head like you see me do here. For the nose I will take a half bead, a white half bead, but I want it black so I'm just taking a sharpie and colour it and set it aside to dry for a little bit. And once dry I just put a dab of hot glue onto the bead and place it. And now I have this burgundy ribbon that I have cut to size and I will place it on the cat as a collar. It looks very pretty and it also covers up where the faux fur pieces meet. And a tiny bow on top of that, like that. Cut the tails and hot glue it into place. And a white half bead as the final touch like that cute isn't it now to address the bottom part I have this piece of cork I'm just hot gluing my cat on top of it and then just cutting around my cat like you see me do here It's soon to be Valentine's Day, so I wanted to include a heart. So I take this burlap ribbon, fold it and cut out half a heart. There we have a heart and use that as a template and cut out a second heart like that. And then I will glue them together. Not like you see me do here. And put in the tiniest bit of uh, pillow stuffing. Don't need much for this little heart. I take a piece of jute twine and make it into a loop and glue it inside of the heart like that. And then I close the heart with some hot glue. If you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button of course for more inspirational videos. Then another piece of jute twine and I make just a simple shoelace bow like that, a tiny one, hot glue that into place and take a white half bead in the center of the bow et voila here it is my creation of today my adorable rocking chair with a throw blanket, pillow and a sleeping cat tell me what do you think of my creation today 
leave me a comment down below and the cute little heart of course hanging on the back wrist and here comes one of our real cats looking for attention you want more thrift flip ideas straight away head on over to the playlist link in my description and here you can see the before and after what a difference if you want to see more of my videos straight away just click that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye